Thank you for joining us today for our, our video demonstration of B2B Gateway EDI solutions and services for Acumatica users. My name is Roger Layden and I'm the Global Director of Business Development with B2B Gateway and I will be joined later on in this demonstration by my colleague Louisa Gooding who's our Director of Sales and Strategic Relationships. So again, thank you and welcome. Today we're just going to go through some the history of B2B Gateway, who we are. Uh, we started in 1999 in Boston. Um, since then, we have added offices in Shannon, um, Ireland, um, the office that I operate out of. We also have partner offices in Copenhagen uh, in Denmark, and we have about 25,000 trading partner relationships uh, throughout the globe. We're also a GS1 accredited solution provider. So what is EDI? EDI should be simple. That, well, that was the thought when it was developed back in the late 70s. Essentially, it should be the electronic transmission of business documents such as purchase orders and invoices between two different systems. As you can see on the screen here, it should be a simple purchase order out, invoice back. But over time, this has got way more complicated. The screen I'm now showing you is just one client who only deals with four um, four trading partners. In this case, they, they happen to be four retailers, but they can be anybody. Um, and as you can see from the screen, the four trading partners he deals with have so many different regulations, requirements, uh, communication protocols, and everything to be adhered to that really it would take a lot of time and a lot of your efforts to make sure all this is up and running. Um, so that's where we come in. We do it all on behalf of the client, the Acumatica user. We make it seamless. We make it painless. And at the end of the day, we are their EDI department, and they don't have to worry about a thing. So where does EDI fit into the marketplace? What should you be looking out for? Who, who needs EDI? Where, where is it used? So as you can see again on the screen, it's a, a variety, of, variety of industries and market verticals are, are strong in the EDI world. Uh, we have manufacturers, third-party logistics, retailers, both box store and online. And one uh, market vertical that's getting very popular these days is what we call the e-commerce platforms. Um, products like Magento, Volusion, 3D Cart, Shopify, that many of your clients are going out there today to purchase so that they can run their own online shopping sites. This leads nicely on to how do you know if your client has an EDI need? Well, there, there are many things, many buzzwords that the client may uh, hear or, or you may hear your client saying, are there maybe many other indications? Here we just on the, the screen, we just have uh, four um, boxes here where we, we describe uh, wh where it could be uh, needed. Um, one is they may talk about documents in numerical values. They may say, I need an 850. In the EDI world, an 850 stands for a purchase order. Uh, other situations is they may um, trade with a 3PL or outsource their warehousing or transportation needs. Um, they may also uh, use a legacy system. Uh, by that, I mean that they may have a subsidiary that trades with SAP or some Oracle-based system. Uh, and, that, and what we can do is we can get the connections going between the two different computer systems, get the documents and the data flowing um, through EDI, which uh, removes the need to rekey data, which you know, saves your time or, or your client time, money, and makes it error-free, the whole process. Uh, some of the other things they may mention is a VAN, which is a value-added network which we use to communicate the data. A AS2 is an encrypted software where we transfer the data over the Internet, but we use AS2 for the encryption process. In North America, the standards of EDI is mainly X12, ANSI X12 standards. But in other parts of the world, in Europe, it may be Edifact. In the UK, it could be Tradicoms. Uh, you may also find in other parts of Europe that EANCOM is a subset of Edifact. And ODET is, is often used in the motor industry, as is at effect as well, actually. So here are just some of the industries where EDI is, is a requirement. Um, the, the industry verticals, box store retailers, as I said, online, third-party logistics. The e-commerce platforms, as I said, are becoming hugely popular. Uh, government agencies and automotive and manufacturing. So what does B2B Gateway do for your client? How do we support your client and keep them happy, make sure their processes are running as they should? So when your client signs up with B2B Gateway, they get a dedicated um, support engineer, setup support engineer. That person, he or she, is like a dedicated project manager, and they have a team underneath them of programming and trading partner liaisons where they make sure everything happens as it should and your client gets set up in the way and as efficiently as they should be. Um, once then that client has gone into production, 
we have what we call our RRT maintenance support team. And RRT stands for Rapid Response Team. They're there if any issues need to be addressed. Maybe Trading Partner has updated a map and we, we need to do that for the client. Uh, maybe they forgot uh, an item number somewhere uh, and that needs to get on. Um, and then as well as the RRT team, we have 24-7 backup uh, emergency support if needed uh, for time critical things like maybe an ASN advance ship notice that, that needs to go out. So again, that's just a, a brief outline of our support structure. Well, as Roger mentioned, now I'm going to show you a live demonstration of the product. Fortunately for me, there's not going to be a lot for me to demonstrate because most of the heavy lifting happens behind the scenes on the B2B gateway servers. We're going to build outbound maps between us and your trading partner and inbound outbound maps between us and Acumatica. What I'm going to show you first is what we call our client portal. Once that team has been assigned to you, you're going to be given access to this client portal. It's going to be one of the many means of communication we're going to have. When you sign up with us initially, we don't decide who your trading partners are going to be. You're going to add them in this client portal. So every time you come to your client portal, you'll see this landing page. If there are any alerts that you need to be aware of, if we need information from you, you'll see those here. You're also going to be getting email notifications of any alerts that we have for you. There are also going to be general client alerts. Those would be things like if the U.S. office is going to be on holiday, we'll let you know here. This is an example of the trading partners that a client has already added to their relationship. So you'll get to see the status of each of those. Going along the tabs, the next one is your company information. This is information obviously specific to your company. You'll notice here that my name is listed as your support engineer. Fortunately, you'll never have me. This is going to be your project manager. They're going, this is just one of the many means of communication you'll have with them. You can click on their name and then send them an email. You'll also have their direct phone number. You can always also at, contact them through support, in the, at the, which I'll show you at the end. This is your company information. You can add as many contacts as you'd like. Everyone will have the same login to the, comp the client portal. And anyone you'd like us to keep in touch with, you can just add here by adding new contacts. It's very simple. Moving on, this is one of the great features of the B2B Gateway Client Portal. This is where you add your trading partner relationships. You simply click on Add New Setups and it's going to take you to our trading partner relationship page. And this is where we have the thousands of existing relationships that we already have. You can also, if perchance you come across a trading partner that we've never worked with before, you can request a new trading partner relationship here. Once you've added the new relationship, you'll be asked to answer about 10 to 12 questions regarding your relationship with that company. They'll be business issue relationships, they won't be EDI questions. As we're going through the setup process, you're going to be able to see exactly where we stand in that setup process. So if you click on Home Depot, you're going to be able to see that we're waiting for feedback on what documents that the trading partner has requested that we trade with them. And as we move along, the setup progress bar will continue to move until it's 100%. You'll also see on here, if we're waiting for something from you, it will show up in red. As I mentioned in the beginning, anytime we're asked, requesting information from you, we'll also send you an email notification. We try to have as many ways of communicating with our customers as possible. The next tab is where you're going to maintain your cross-referencing. Cross-referencing is really important because typically when you're trading with a customer, you may call your product ABC, but they call it 123. Or they may order in case packs and you pack by you pack inner packs. So this is where we'll set up the cross-referencing table. It will be an ongoing table that you can maintain or we can assist you. Again, we try to have as many ways of communicating with our customers and supporting them however is most convenient for them. You'll also be able to log into our warehouse support site. The warehouse support site is where you'll generate UCC 128 labels and ASNs if they're required by your retailer. Now I'm going to show you how you get started on the Acumatica side. Simply go to Systems, Integration, and then down to Web Services. Your dedicated project manager is going to give you your service ID, which you'll enter here, and then you'll enter a description of B2B Gateway. Once all the heavy lifting and mapping has been done on the B2B Gateway side, you're ready to start receiving and sending EDI documents. The most common scenario that we work with is receiving purchase orders, sending invoices, and advanced shipping notifications. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you how this will work. Right now, what's happening behind the scenes is we've connected to your trading partner. They've sent us a purchase order. It's being processed through our servers. In a matter of seconds, that order will now be sent over into your Acumatica. You're going to be receiving 
an email notification that a sales order has just been sent to you and is successfully imported. Once you receive the email notification that you've received that sales order, you now can go into your Acumatica account and you'll see here that you've successfully imported that sales order. Now you'll go through your regular business practice of pick packing and shipping and converting that sales order into an invoice. I'm going to show you the manual way of extracting that invoice from your Acumatica account. You'll simply click on the B2B Gateway client portal, which is found on your landing page. And this is going to take you back to that client portal that I showed you earlier. We're going to go over to the integration tab. And you'll select the type of document you'd like to pull, which would be an invoice. And you'd like to send it to your trading partner as an invoice. In this case, I'm going to send a very specific invoice. So I just type in the invoice number that I'd like to run a query for. And this is going to trigger the, EDI, the B2B Gateway system to go into your Acumatica system and look for this invoice number. So then I hit Run Query. And it's going into the Acumatica system right now. And here you can see that our invoice has now successfully been pulled and sent over to your trading partner to be paid. Now this does seem like quite a bit of work. So we, what we've also done is added a schedule tool to automate the entire process. So rather than going in and querying for a specific invoice, what we'll do is we're going to set up a schedule to go into your Acumatica system and regularly look for invoices on a periodic basis that you determine, be it once a day at the end, at the end of the day or every 30 minutes. Here we have it set up to do a query for an item list. If you were to set, required to send your trading partners your inventory information, you can set that up here as well. So all the documents that are going to your trading partner can be set up on a scheduled basis to automate the entire process. All inbound documents, as I showed you in the beginning, will go in automatically. So as soon as we receive those documents from your trading partner, we're going to reformat them and push them directly into your Acumatica system, and you'll get an email notification. In addition to that email notification you're going to be receiving, you're also going to be able to look in your client portal for your transaction reports. This is going to be a historical list of every document that we've ever processed for you. You can look up by a range of dates. You can look up for a specific document. But this is a great tool for looking historically as to what documents we've processed on your behalf. Another report which you'll see in here, which hopefully you very seldom need to use, is the exception report. This is a report that will let you know if any documents have failed for any reason. We also, you'll be able to see your company invoice for that little bit of those pennies that you'll have to pay B2B Gateway over the month for those transactions. And finally, we have the support tab. This is a great way of communicating with us. Roger mentioned the rapid response team, which is what, who you would contact if you had any questions, concerns, you wanted to change something. You'd reach out to your client, your rapid response team and create a new request here. A common request would be if you're receiving orders currently by store number and you'd like to see it, receive them by store location, you'd like to change globally change the UPC numbers. There's a variety of things that you might send in a request for here. You'll be able to see where your request stands, who's working on it, and what the next step is. So what are the advantages of becoming EDI compliant? What does it mean to your clients to become EDI compliant? Well, number one, the, the best one of all, I think, is they get paid faster to get money in their pockets so they can keep trading and hopefully build on trading. Uh, the, the second advantage we have here is, you know, obviously data transfer automation. The, it, what we mean by that is it takes away the rekeying of data, having to rekey data. Uh, this leads on to advantage number three. If you don't have to rekey, your accuracy is greatly improved because say you're rekeying and you're putting in 10 and you, by mistake, you put in 100 on a bad day, it, it, it throws out all your systems. So, by the fact that you don't have to rekey the data, it, it improves your accuracy, um, which greatly increases efficiencies. And number five, as we say there, it, the, the full automation reduces the need for paper. So it's, it's good for the planet. It's good to go green. They're the top five. There are many others, many others. But as, as I said already, uh, getting paid faster probably is what your clients really, really want to hear. So we're coming near the end of our demonstration and presentation here today. So here's just a few uh, little fun facts about B2B Gateway. Uh, and I'm going to throw up some of our current clients as well. Uh, as I mentioned already, we have offices in North America, Europe, and Scandinavia. Um, we process over $30 billion of invoices every month on behalf of our clients and their, their client tra uh, trading partner relationships. And we have thousands of clients and trading partners 
all over the world. I think we, we, we operate in over 30 countries, 17 time zones at this stage. Uh, here's a few of the existing clients we have there. There's some names like you might recognize being in the press recently, like Nest, Otterbox, Buffalo, Kuna Nagel, Avery, Lighthouse. But we deal with everybody. So the, the B2B gateway client base is, is, is expands greatly. We deal with everyone from the one and two people operation up to the Fortune 500s and everyone in between. We've got solutions for everybody. So here we are. As I say, this is the end. Thank you so much for looking at our video today and our demonstration. Uh, on the screen now, you can just see our contact numbers in, in the States. It's 401-491-9595. And if you're looking for sales, hit extension 5 on that. Our email is sales at b2bgateway.net. And as you can see on the screen, our other phone numbers are there. So thanks for looking today and uh, hope to talk to you all soon.